Hi everybody, this is Carla. Welcome to the Happy Bookmaker. So this week we are going to continue on with our art journal layout and our, or another art journal layout, I should say. And um, maybe we can recap a little bit what we've done, what we did last week. So if you recall, or if you've even watched, if you haven't, go back and watch, please. Um, this was um, an, my, well, okay, let's start at the very beginning. This is just a child's book that I got at, I think it was the ARC for 99 cents. And it is just, you know, it's those, like, I don't know what it's made out of, but like really, really heavy chipboard. And um, it's just kind of ideal for this kind of thing because it takes paint, it takes glue without, um, you know, it's not gonna warp and things like that. And there aren't that many pages. So like, you know, for me, I can get a little overwhelmed when there's too much going on. If I feel like, oh, I have this whole book to fill up. So, so we've done, I did this um, before yesterday or last week's layout. And um, so we kind of already went over that. I won't go over the whole thing again. And then last week, we did this uh, second layout together. And I uh, love the way it turned out. And um, so now I just picked a little spot in the middle of the book. And we kind of, I kind of showed you some of the items that I wanted to use in this layout <clears throat> last week. But here they are again. And kind of my, one of my main focal points was this, um, these daisies, which were from a photo that I took just from the backyard last year. And I printed this out on plain copy paper and I fussy cut around all the leaves. And I, I mean, it, it looks three dimensional. I think that's kind of cool. It looks three dimensional. I'm gonna have to cut a little bit off to fit on the page, but this was kind of one of my main focuses. So there's that. And by the way, in the picture, this phlox, I'm pretty sure this is called a phlox. I've been calling it a phlox. <laughs> if I'm wrong, please somebody tell me. And you can kind of see where the daisies are going in front of it. So I'll get to this, but this is gonna be part of it, not this photo, but this is gonna be part of this art journal layout. So we've got that and that. I've got this, um, this is a digital print of uh, French antique newspaper. And um, I did some of these kinds of things in my very first video about um, making digital prints look old and vintage and kind of authentic, more authentic anyway. And so we're gonna use one of those. And this was also a digital print um, from one of my favorite creators, um, Kelly at Book and Paper Arts. And I just, I just fell in love with this. I, I love the colors because I love blue. I love kitties. I mean, you know, what more could you ask for? So, and it's got French. By the way, I'm obsessed with anything French. So, you know, so I got to use it. Um, also, in my very first video, we I did some uh, postcards that, that we um, kind of aged and did the same thing to kind of made them look more authentic and realistic. And just on cardstock, it wouldn't have to be for this because, you know, no, really it's just like to lay down flat, but we're gonna do a little aging on that. It'll just take a couple minutes. Um, because of the little bit of red in here, I'm gonna bring in this red element, and this was from a book, I think it's called Wildflowers of the World, and I think it's Barbara Everhart, if I'm not mistaken. So I cut this out as fussy as I could, but there's a lot of little detail in there, so it's not gonna get, it's not gonna be perfect. And again, I'll have to cut off a little bit of this at the end. And then there's just some other little pieces that I might wanna throw in here just for funsies, but that'll be at the very end. This is like a piece of like 1800s book page. I know it's just a little piece of paper, <laughs> but I like it. Um, this is a little stamp, um, on a little piece of a cardstock. Um, this is from, it's like a book all about, I think it's like all about cooking or something, but this is, um, I don't know if you can see, it's like French, French cooks or something. I'm not really sure what they're doing. The Queen 
like closet or rich cabinet. I have no idea what that means, but I really like it. This may not go on there. And then I just like, I don't know, I came across this little leaf and so it could go on there. So here's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start laying down our background paper. Oh, I forgot this little guy. This is also a sheet of vintage or antique book paper and that is gonna go down as a background page. So why you ask, probably, um, do I have blue over here? So I did lay down a coat of acrylic gesso, which unfortunately, I've used it twice, and it's it's weirdly latexy. Like, it, it stuck together, I mean, after like almost a whole day, it stuck together and kind of pulled some little bits off. It doesn't matter, it's gonna get covered up, but like it's very latexy, which I thought was kind of odd. It'll work. And then I went over this side with um, the blue that is in our digital print or you know something that's similar to it because I wanna bring that blue in over on this side. So this is gonna lay in the middle. Well, let's kind of do this here. This is my thinking here. This vintage piece of book paper is gonna go here. We are gonna lay down our mock vintage newspaper page in the middle. This is gonna kinda of lay right in here. We're gonna put down, after we age some of these things, we're gonna put this little guy down, this, this um, French um, mock vintage postcard. We are going to somehow lay down this red flower across the page. Now here's where we get into um, the art, the real artistic part. I do wanna lay this down and I'm going to do that at the very end. But before I do that, I don't know if you can see the pencil here. I have lightly sketched in this phlox flower to paint before I put down I think even before I put this sheet down, um, just because if it goes, if the painting goes under it, that's okay. Um, so this is gonna be real loose. This is not gonna be <laughs> Monet or, or I think I said that last, last time, like not Monet, not Van Gogh, nothing like that. It's gonna be really loose. I did kind of a, a test to see like how quickly I could do it because I can paint, but I'm not a fast painter. So I did this um, a couple of days ago just to see yeah, I think I can do it pretty quick and it's kind of loose. If all else fails, I can cut this out and put it on here because it is my art and I've already done it. But we're gonna try to do this. So if this gets to be too long of a process, I will break this up into two videos. It took me about maybe a half an hour to do that little painting on my sketch pad. So I, I'm trying not to get these videos over 40 minutes. So it, this may be a two-parter. But let's get started and we'll um, figure out how the time works. So, alrighty, let's start with our first. And that's this guy here. I'm gonna take my corner rounder because we have our rounded edges. We're gonna go, we're gonna do that. And that, okay. We're just gonna glue this down. Pretty easy, basic stuff. For being old paper, this is very sturdy, actually. Like it's, it's got the caramelization, caramelization, <laughs> it's not, they're not onions, but you know, it's got that caramel look on the edge of the pages, which I love, but this is really very sturdy paper, which makes it good for putting in your layouts. I think that the age on this is like, it's a, I need to look that up sometimes so I can tell you. It's like the eight, late 1800s. Um, now we're gonna lay down our page. And let's see, here's our bone folder. I actually have it handy this time. Kind of nice for a change, huh? So, well, here's where it gets tricky because I can't, I have to lay this down 
before I put this down. Okay, we're gonna do it. I don't have to lay this part down right away. So I've already kind of got a fold in here. So actually, let's just do it like this. Oh, I got a glob, a glob of glue. It's not like dippity do. Oh my gosh, I'm aging myself. Or a dabble, a little dabble, do you? <laughs> you have to look it up. Young people will have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so now we're gonna get this sort of in. But we want, okay, let's get it exactly where we want it. I want it to be kind of even on the top and the bottom. I mean, not exact, but, um, but it is really, really sticky. Sticking quite well. Get this down like this. Yeah, okay. This might actually work better to do it this way in pieces because of this whole center situation. Let's put a little bit of glue down in the center. Let's see if I can do this without getting in the way. I don't know, I think I have to clean out my glue thing here. It wants to glob up on me. We're gonna like push that in, push that over. I didn't do any aging on this because I had previously done it. And what I did was I just tore this out. I printed it on, if you didn't watch the previous video, on this like children's scribble pad, which is really light and like, newspaper-like. And I kind of ripped it around rough and did a little bit of um, this uh, vintage photo inking around the edges to kind of give it a little bit of age. So that has already been done. And I think, cover him up. I think we're gonna do that around this too. I was kind of debating if I wanted to do black, but um, I think I'm gonna keep things all with the vintage photo. So just kind of go around this. I have to keep this in one piece because it appears to be some kind of, um, I don't know, like where they had the fabric swatches and um, I, I really don't know. <laughs> But I love it. I think it's so pretty. There was another piece on this digital print, which I almost used, but I decided to stick with my original idea and go with our kitties, our kitty, in our yellow and our blue. It doesn't have to be hugely antiqued. I like to kind of go over the top too, because obviously this was printed on like a whitish paper, just to give it a little bit of that look. Okay, there's that. And I'm gonna switch to this other bottle because this one doesn't seem to like me using it today. And then we're gonna go down with this. Give her lots of stick them here. Okay. There we go. And again, you know, this is just stuff that, this is for, you know, this book is for me. It's just stuff that I think is really pretty. You know, kind of makes my heart happy. I like looking at it. And that's what, you know, an art journal should be. It should be your expression, what you find to be beautiful or moving to you in, in any way. It doesn't I guess it doesn't have to be beautiful. It can just be what you want to express. So putting in just things that um, I really like. Of course, I need a towel of some sort and so now I thought I was really prepared and here I don't have my towels. I don't know where they went. Okay. Um, oh yeah, hold on a second. I'll be right there. This is where the Baby wipes come in handy. Because <laughs> sometimes the dry, just like a dry paper towel, it, oh, well, no, it looks a little wet. It's gonna dry. Will just stick to it, and then you've got dry paper towel also stuck on your layout. And that's not fun. Okay, 
Let's take the digital printed postcard that is on cardstock and let's give it a little, let's give it a little beat up here. Let's make it look old. Does it have any original marks? Not really. I mean, this is a digital print of an actual vintage postcard, French, of course. So it's got that going for it. And I'm gonna take sandpaper. I found this to be really helpful last time. You know what? Actually, let's do the inking first and then I'm gonna go over that. So now we're gonna go over the edge and I'm trying not to go over this edge, which I kind of explained before, because really um, your aging isn't gonna be so much on this part. It's gonna be probably on the front of it more than likely. And I mean, that's all I've done and look, look at the difference. Um, I'm gonna have to do more of these kinds of videos because I just love this. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with it. And that, and now we're gonna go over with just a little sandpaper. When you have a darker image, a darker postcard, when you go over it with the sandpaper, it, it looks really realistic and authentic because it looks like it's worn off, you know, on the corners. I really like that. So it's probably gonna go something like that. I'm gonna get this little guy kind of inked up a little bit too while we're at it. It's it's tricky because it's uh it's kind of delicate, you know? I'm gonna go a little bit over the top of it too because this is, you know a white book page on the back. There are just wonderful images in her book. Um, I found it on thrift books for like, I think it was like 30, 30 bucks. I mean, there's like, I think it says there, are, I hate to say like 10,000 flowers or something like that. Um, and um, the, the, the paper cover was missing. And I thought, well, you know, for my use, I don't need that. So I thought that was a tremendous deal, $30, $30 for this huge book of botanical prints. Or not prints, but, um, you know, sketches. Okay, so she's got a little aging. So I think I want it to be... I'm trying not to cover up too much of the postcard. So I think it's going to be something like... And then this... This is really long, but I like it. I kind of want to show it. So I think we're going to go something like this. So now I need to, let's see, maybe I will have to bring it down because I don't really want to get into trying to cut that even. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of mark this there. So I just kind of bent it on the page. We're going to cut it off there. Okay, let me ink that a little bit. Oh, that's blue. <laughs> that's okay, we have blue in this layout, it'll work. Now I covered it up, okay. Um, like something like that, yeah. Something like that. So, now, just gotta remember where you go. I'm going to glue this guy down. Even though all these things are flat, they really do, um, really do add to the thickness of the book. Like already this book does not lay flat. So I'm also trying to be mindful of not doing you know, too many thick things. Although it's okay, you know, it's okay if there's a gator mouth, if it, you know, if it sticks open because, um, you know, I'm gonna wrap it in a ribbon or something and, and that's kind of the beauty of it, you know, that it's nice and plump and full of good stuff. Okay, like that, oh yeah. 
So I'm still showing like the postmark and some of the French writing. So I'm not covering up anything very important. So this, this will be a little bit tricky because we want to get, we got to get like into these little grooves, crevices, like this long one. <laughs> oh gosh. It's, it is actually going on there. Okay. All right. Come around. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whew. Okay. I think we're down. I think we're down. Put it down. Oh, that's pretty. So pretty. And I can come back in here, if, like, you know, if there are some places that have lifted a little bit. It's not like this is gonna get a lot of use because, you know, again, it's just me. But, um, yeah, that's really pretty. There's that. Just a little bit right there. It's hard to get those little teeny tiny, like those little tiny leaves and stuff. Okay, so here's how we're looking so far. I'm gonna take a little of the uh, ink Let's just do that now. We're gonna go around the edges just to kind of age it up a little bit because that's something that I love. And you know what, what the heck? Let's go around and do the other side. And yes, you can absolutely ink over paint. You can ink over fabric. Um, you, can, you can ink just about anything. This stuff is great. And I've had this a long time. I have to like squirt it with water once in a while, but I mean, they just last a really long time. And I use this all, a lot, a lot. Okay, so that's where we're at with that. So, Here's where I can't put this down yet because um, I have to do the painting first. And I'm not gonna do the other little pieces yet because I wanna wait until we're all done. So <clears throat> we're gonna start with the painting. Again, I might have to uh, cut it off, but I'm gonna put this under the page just to protect. So what we're gonna do, let's see if I can move this over here. <clears throat> I've never uh, had to paint in real time where somebody might actually see it, <laughs> see me doing it. Um, so this is just acrylic. I'm using a thick body for the yellow because it, uh, it'll show up better. Yellows are tough. Like they, they don't want to cooperate for some reason. So I'm just on my disposable palette throwing down This is got this is gonna plug. Throwing down some colors. Might need a little bit more green. <clears throat> we always need white. I'm gonna have to put this over even more. Okay, I should be able to see everything. And now we're gonna need more white than that. Oops, sorry, bumped the camera. Um, this is going to build, make our, um, like if we need to fill in with any of this color, I'm just going to have a little bit on here ready to go. And for the brand, there's like the, um, I don't know, it's like the base, by the way, I'm not doing the bumblebee. <laughs> That's just way too much. So this base, like I don't know what you call that, where the flower comes out. It's kind of like browns and tans. So we're gonna need some brown. And of course we're gonna be, you know, lightening some of that. Um, I need some, what is this? I think yellow ochre for like the dark, like 
it's really, it's hard to tell on this picture, I'm sure. But you always start, well, you don't always. I mean, some people do it the opposite. But I will start with like a darker paint first. And then I'll go over it with a lighter paint. Um, because then this will be your shadow. So we're going to put that, a little square of that there. I'll probably need more of all of these eventually. But um, so there's that. So um, I actually think I'm going to end this one here because I'm just not going to be able to get this whole thing painted like in the next five minutes or even 10 minutes. So um, let's end this here. I will be, I'll still be posting this on the same day. And um, this is part one of our Phlox and Daisy art journal layout. And I'm gonna uh, stop this here and um, start part two, uh, painting the flower and finishing out this page. So thanks a lot for joining me and um, I'll see you soon.